Okay, today we'll be looking at this used Purelator Boss oil filter, number PBL24651. And I want to thank Wally Lair for sending me this filter. Thank you, Wally. It came off as 2012 Ram 1500 pickup. Yep, the one with the 5.7 V8 Hemi engine. His truck has 88,644 miles on it. And this filter was in service for 4,977 miles. You can get this filter at Advanced Auto Parts for $14.99. Or you may be able to find it cheaper somewhere else. So let's get started. This is a network. You got a really good silicone. Get nice and tight. Get your inner ear. Filtration. Okay, here she is. Let's look at the date code. F01N11F2. This is a sticker. And we look over here, we'll see Man and Hummel Pure Later Filters. Made in USA. She has six inlet holes, metal core with louvers, and I see a bypass valve down below. And this has the Puro Seal gasket on it which is uh, ethylene acrylic. And it stays pretty pliable even after you've had it on there for 5,000 miles. It doesn't get hard like most of them. Good thickness. Yeah, it's all good. Leave that off. Yeah, so let's cut her open. Oh, I also wanted to say that uh, he was using a royal purple 5W20 oil with this filter. So let's cut her open. It's slippery. Take this glove off. It's still slippery. I'll edit some of this out so because this thing's slippery, it's hard to open up. Look at that oil. Still a lot of oil left in there. Get my glove back on. Alright, well, we can see the silicone in the drain back valve. That looks good. It's got a lot of spring to it. And the filter element. Boy, the pleats are nicely spaced. Looks nice. Seam. This is all this is all really nice. And this has a micron rating of 99% at 20 mic 25 microns bypass valve. Yeah, I'll count the pleats. Let's stretch it out. We'll see what it looks like. But this all looks good. Yeah, looks really good. And the leaf spring still got a nice dome to it. Yeah, that's nice. These are pretty big too, so yeah, this is this is nice. That looks nice. Looks pretty clean actually. Yeah, that looks real good. Let me get a quick uh, width on this filter media. Uh, 
Okay, she's 2.13 inches wide. Okay, I'm going to cut her open, squeeze her out, and then uh, see what she looks like. We'll be right back. Okay, here she is stretched out, and she comes over my table. She's 87 and a half inches long. This is a long one. A lot of filter media. Okay, and here's a sample that I cut. We'll take a look at it. It's got the plastic screen backing on it. All right here. And they call this their uh, Smart Fusion Technology, which is pretty good. This stuff is, is good. This won't tear. This is pretty strong stuff. Let's get a measurement on this filter for the heck of it. It's got, it still has some oil and I can't get it all out, but get a rough estimate here. 0.75 millimeters. Yeah, this is, this is also very nice stuff. It is pretty strong. Pretty strong stuff. And I got some rubber bands here. We'll take a look at these guys. See if you guys can see some sparkles here. Like you see one right there. See one right there. And see one right there. They're very small. I don't know if it's going to pick them up. This is a magnet. Let's see if that picked it up. Yeah, I don't see it, but yeah, right there. See it? I think that's it. Yep, that's it right there. Let me get that focus in there. You barely see it there. Yeah. You can see it there. It's like it's actually like lit up. <laughs> okay, and let's look around some more here. You can see some more. There's another one. If you look at a certain angle here, you'll see it right there. See it right there? And there's some more over here. See one right there. You can see one there. See one there. Right there. There's a few throughout. But there's no soot on this oil filter. It's clean that way. But it does have a few sparkles to it. And as you can see, some of them are metallic because of that magnet got one. There, you can see one. You can see one there. You can see one up there. Yeah, let's let's look at the rest of the filter. So you got the can. The can's good. Let me get the measurement of this can also. Not that ain't right. 0 0.60 millimeters. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. 0 0.59 millimeters. That's pretty good thickness. See the inside of the can. The oil looks pretty clean. Silicone and drain back valve. This is nice. Base plate's nice. It fits over nicely. And let me zoom this out a little bit here. This is too close. You can 
see. I mean, the, this is all nice and clean. Metal end caps. No excess glue. Gets in there nicely like that. Right here is a little excess glue, but that's not bad. Yeah, that's how it goes, just like that. And just like that. I think this is a very well-made filter. The pleats are nicely spaced. Very strong filter. You ain't got to tear this filter at all. So what do you guys think about this filter? Please post your comments down below. So I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget, Oil Filter Friday, I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and take care. Here's one. Another one. There's one. There's a big one.